Stimme hören zu ihm. Finally. Welcome to Peppers Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> Aha, finally, my Ahi Charipa F3 plant, the first one of them at least, has produced a ripe fruit. It has been ripe for quite a few days now, completely wet, so it should be good to go. Um, let's see, the other fruits are not far behind. So, the chili taste testing season has started and I hope I will make some progress on my breeding program. Mm. My plants didn't grow all that well this season. Uh, I think I may even only have two uh, plants that I can harvest some fruits for taste testing but better than nothing and uh, maybe the perfect one is among them but I don't think but we shall see. Okay. Um, well, my goal uh, of the breeding program is to produce a small fruited super hot uh, chili pepper variety. And, um, well, this one is almost too big again. It is the offspring of the uh, 2B specimen of the F2 generation of the Ahi Charipa, which was a uh, nice and had the Basically the perfect heat profile and the fruits were smaller, but um, could have been due to suboptimal growing conditions. The shape of the fruit is um, okay. You can kind of see the super hot heritage. Uh, it is um, a cross between an Ahi Charapita and a uh, Carolina Reaper chocolate, hence the name Ahi Charipa. And it's the F3 generation, so again, the traits are mixing. But uh, I have to <coughs> record the intro, of course, I almost forgot. <coughs> Il Ilaniav. Niet Repep Ilic. Okay. <clears throat> so then, without much further ado, <clears throat> Can't detect any particular smell, but uh, yeah. Whoa. Crunchy <coughs> and the juices sprayed. Hmm. Not really sweet. 
um, more <coughs> acidic. Not that much heat in the mouth, or at least it only starts to burn now, really. Not sweet, not fruity, slightly acidic, very juicy, crunchy, but the heat, hmm. again, more in my belly, <coughs> which seems, seems to be in general more responsive to heat than my mouth. Hmm. If I had to rate it on heat, on a scale of 0 to 10, just by feeling, um, well, not more than a 5, I, I'm afraid. Well, maybe 6. Let's be generous and say a 6. Hmm. Well, I don't expect any trouble later on because I have consumed obscene amounts of amounts of food in preparation and my special special uh, oat um, preparation. Yeah, hmm. I'm a bit disappointed. The plant is nice enough. Nice little traffic light fruits going from red to orange to green, uh, from green to orange to red. Well, no habanero taste, which is a good thing because I dislike this soapy peachy thing. <sighs> man, 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 man. Now it's starting to hurt a little bit more in the belly. But I guess I should be fine. Hmm. Uh, well, I think <coughs> I will try some more fruits of this individual before I chalk it up on the do not continue list. But we have at least one more specimen to go. Hmm. No. So heat 6, taste, again on a scale of 0 to 10, maybe a 7, no, no, no unpleasant taste, no bitterness, but just a, a, a acidic, sounds bad, a, a fresh and tart, a tangy, maybe, not, 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 um, not bad. So seven. Yeah. And the fruits could be smaller, but it's uh, irrelevant if the heat level isn't matching up. And now it's really it starts to be a bit uncomfortable in my guts, but only slightly. No pooling of saliva, no indication that I feel I have to throw up or anything, which would be an indicator of a really high heat level. Yeah. Hmm. A bit anticlimactic after all this waiting. But we shall see. There's uh, always still hope. And of course, I still have more seeds from the F2 plant to create more F3 plants if it should be necessary. Maybe uh, next year some of the plants that I grew will develop fruits. Or maybe even this year still. We shall see. That's it for now. And... Bye! Okay, a slight change in the rating. Mm. The mouth burn, I would give a 5.
5 and the belly burn a 7. It um, shortly after ending the recording it did fire up a little bit more and it was generally this pleasant and I had to resort to drinking an uh, iced coffee. So yeah, just uh, a change for the future I think. Sadly my mouth seems to be less responsive to heat, but my gut, those huge, huge guts. <sighs> no. And I want to have, of course, a nice, strong burn in the mouth and the burn in the gut I could do without. Yes, indeed. <laughs>